Well, finally got a new tank in. I should re-say that. Finally ordered a new tank. So focus. And it's the Nunchaku 2 by UL. Ordered a pack of coils as well. I have been using my smock baby beasts for a very long time. I'd say probably a year. And I like the smock. I'm not a fanboy of anything. I mean, you see, I use a great vape geek vape <laughs> Aegis mod. Um, actually, well, that's a geek vape Aegis mod. I have the nunchaku mod. You can see all my other mods that I have out there. I also have the smock species mod. It's not a smock tank. Nope, that's the UL nunchaku two. Yep, I've already broken out of the box. Already using it. Check out those colors, though. It actually goes quite well with the smock species blue. It's not a perfect match. I mean, if you look really close, but really close. The smock mod's just a little bit darker blue. The UL is just a little bit lighter, but they both have that glossy look. Compared to, I think this one's closer. Compared to the smock baby beast blue. Focus. It doesn't quite match. I mean, it's close, but it's not the shiny like the UL tank is. So this is this is my new daily. I'm just going to let the cat out of the bag. I love this freaking tank. These coils. Wow. I'm going to bring those up here real quick. So they use these honeycomb meshed coils. The O-rings, you've seen them. Lots of other reviews and such out there. Um, and it's this self-cleaning technology. Now, some of the other reviewers you're going to see, uh, they say that it has something where it reuses it, that it stops leakage. And then they talk about this juice fill hole up here. I mean, yeah. Uh, Switch you back over here real quick. <laughs> there we go. Talk about this. And they're like, oh, I, I really want another one over here. I want another one. That way when I put juice in it, it's got air to escape. It's not how this tank works. The air escapes down here. You put it in the top, you squeeze that bottle, it ain't going to come back out until it's full. But if it's got room... It's going in. You can seal that hole off around that the bottle drip tip as much as you want. Ain't gonna shoot back out. Cause they're, they're weird. I don't know how this thing works. All I know is it works. I tried it. I, it's full now, I can't do it again. But uh what it does is any juice that overflows comes down into the bottom where the airflow is. So if you overfill it or if you fill it too fast, air comes out the bottom here of the coil. And then after you're filling it and you're using it, juice doesn't leak down in here because there's these little slots. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how it works. I just know it works. And it goes back up into the, into the coil, into the cotton. You can fill this, you know, you can see here, completely sealed off. It doesn't need a hole on the other side to let the air out, to let the juice in. Like I said, I don't know how it works. I just know it works. Now, let's forget the fact that it works. Don't care. Let's talk about the coils. Holy crap, the flavor on this thing. Like I said, I've been using my smock tanks, Baby Beast, and the X Beast for a very, very long time. I didn't find anything else that had comparable taste and flavor with comparable coils price range. Now, my, I'm not a fan, like I've said. I, I mean, well, I, am a, I buy whatever works for me. I don't care who makes it. UL, I used to have a UL Crown. I had a Crown 2. I had the Valerian. I had the Crown 3. Eh, they worked. I had the Hercules Sense. I had the Hercules Sense Plus. I've had many, many other tanks and mods, and you've seen all my reviews. 
this tank and these coils blow them all away. <laughs> the flavor on this, like I said, I've been using my uh, glazed donuts by Pound It and Foo Fighters. What's the other one? Lemon Pound Cake. Kind of mix them 50-50. It's my day-to-day -day vape. All day, every day. I also use cotton candy, and I used, uh, what do I got right at the moment? In here I have, actually I grabbed the wrong one. I have squeezed green apple with ice. I use this all the time. All the time. There's flavors in there I didn't even know existed. On this tank, you can taste them. And these coils. And the sound. Well, here's the here's the smock baby beast. It's got good airflow. It's got good flavor. Here's the nunchucko too. However you want to pronounce it. It's got tons more airflow. Much smoother airflow. You don't get that little whistling noise. The, the Baby Beast is not whistly. But compared to this, it's whistly. And the flavor. Yeah. <laughs> now the smock tanks have a, a bigger air hole. One on each side. The crown has... Or not the crown. Wow. <laughs> the Nunchucko 2 has three tinier air holes. And all three together are still smaller than the two of them. One of the air holes on the Nunchucko 2 is almost half the size of the hole on the smock. Baby beast. Kind of hold them up where you can see the air holes. Hopefully you can see that. But whatever. Don't know. Don't care. Don't care how it works. I know it works. Airflow. It doesn't leak. It doesn't drip. I mean... I don't know how it works, but it works. Now, like I said, some of the other reviewers, some of them are my favorite reviewers that I watch. You know, I'm dedicated. I watch them every time they have a new video come out. But they all say, most of them, okay, maybe not all, but most of them say that they want another air hole or another hole for filling for air to get out. Hate to say it, but it's because they don't understand how it works. I don't understand it either, but I watched it. That's the fun. And I also hear about other tanks. Oh, it's a juice guzzler. Well, yeah, if you crank it up to 100 watts, it's going to burn through your juice. My uh, smock tanks, I think they're rated 40 to 70, best 50 to 60. I'm running it at 40 watts. My other smog tank, um, it's actually the mesh coil. Mesh coil, they say, I think it's 50 to 80 and best 60 to 70. I'm um, going to try and get that to focus. Maybe on camera. Or not. But anyway, it's at 40 watts. This one. Rated, I actually don't remember now. Oh, 40 to 50 watts. Really? Is that what it is? 40 to 50 watts. I thought it said 40 to 60 on the tank itself. Anyway. If you're running it up at a real high wattage, you're going to burn through it. Mine, I'm also running it 40 watts. If I get that to focus, focus. My camera does not like me. Let me turn the autofocus off. Try that again. Somewhere in there, it should see it. It's really not that bright in real life, but on the screen I can see it's just 
really out there. But anyway, trust me, it's 40 watts. Forty watts, hellacious flavor. It's gonna burn juice. They're all gonna go through juice. But the higher the watts, the more juice you're gonna use. Yeah, I could probably run this at eighty watts like some of the other viewers do. And yeah, the coil, the tank can keep up with it. I don't like a hot vape. I don't like buying a bottle of this every day, much less every week or every couple of weeks. Have that on all the way. So if I can get what I need to where I'm happy, getting the juice I want, getting the flavor I want, and a lower wattage, why on earth would I burn it hotter just to burn through juice? That's like people who smoke cigarettes. Oh, well, I can smoke four at a time. Yeah, you can probably. Why the fuck would you? I don't get it. But whatever, to each their own. Do what you want. For me, 40 watts. What's out? Nice thick clouds. I'm not into clouds. You know that from other videos. They're both pretty comparable, obviously, for clouds. But this one you can hear. Is much louder than this. And I, I have to say this has better flavor. Now I do have a mesh coil in here. So it's not like this is a wire coil. And this is a, well, honeycomb, like whatever you see on their site. I was actually going to show you that. Anywhere else you go, you're going to find um, but it's out of stock. This is on UL's site themselves. And they want 35 I don't get that. Buy it directly from the manufacturer. and They want mega money. There's the different colors it comes in. It's polished. It's pretty. I'll give it that. There's how you put it together. You can see that there's gaskets on that coil. There's no screwing of it. Oh, one other thing I want to point out. UL is the only one I know of that still has this middle piece. Other tanks like the smock, the coil screws in here, and then this screws into this top piece. UL still has this, and the coil is in between. And there's the specs if you want to see them. And then I already showed you this part. Yeah, 50 to 60. What does this say? Oh, these are the 25s. I swear that says 40 to 50. Maybe it does say 40 to 60. 50, no, that's 4. Whatever. Shows you how to put it together. The weird recycling of juice. So you don't have to even worry about airflow at the top. Pouring your juice out because you don't need another air hole. These are what the coils look like. See, those are what I used to have. I think that was on the crown three or the valorian valerian there was the <laughs> there was the old crown tank coils yeah. oh i was going to show you those I think of it. come in four packs now again element bait did not even have these in stock i had to get them all breezy i'll put links down below but uh i'll put links down below Come in a four pack. I think it was like ten bucks. But now my camera focuses. My camera hates me. Anyway, all right. These are instructions on the inside of the box. Good luck getting. Oh, I got it out. Oh, well, just gives you information on it. You probably have to go to the. Oh wait, it focused. You can pause that if you want to read back through it. But anyway, so many reviewers talked about the flavor. Oh, yeah, and then the anti counterfeit, counterfeit number. But it's not going to focus on that. 
Oh, oh, there it did. There it is. You can see that mine are mine are real. Now mine are the captainized A ones, and not the H version, because nobody has them. Breezy is the only one that even had coils that would go into this tank. Now yes, it does come with two, but I bought four because I like to have them on hand. flavor on this is just fabulous but anyway element bait for ordering the tank or the kit they have the check a mod well, I guess I could show you that let's jump back over here I think this has the mod oh that's just the tank really well Thought. All right, let's type in kit instead of mods. Actually, kind of cool too. Element Vape has it. Um, we'll just go there. They're not paying for any of this. I paid for this all by myself. But anyway, there's the different mods that they have. Different colors, I should say. It's all the same mod. But it's that whole tilty thing. You can watch one of the other reviewers if you want to see that. I don't really do that. Um, oh, I was hoping. Uh, they don't. Let's see if they have a better picture up here. Now, the mod I almost bought, I have a couple of the stick mods, and I do. I have the regular Nunchucko one, and I really like it. You can go back to my other videos and see it. Um... I don't really need another mod. And honestly, I didn't think I needed another tank. I've been running my smock beasts and my ex baby beast and my baby beast a couple of years now. And Crown came out with it, and I seen so many other reviewers say what they were saying, like, well, I do watch a lot of reviewers. <laughs> and they said it was good. So I thought I'd try it. Oh, there we go. So on the Nunchucka tank, mod, one button, get it up, three clicks to change, and then you tilt it left and right. Change your wattage and all that. There's no button. It's got a mercury switch in there probably. They say gyroscope. It's China. It's probably a mercury switch. And it goes back and forth. That's the gist of it, basically. And then the tank. Tanks hold me. Um, my smock tanks... I like them. Don't get me wrong. I do. Oh, the other thing. It's 510. I've forgotten that 510 is smaller. You got all these drip tips for 810. They don't fit at all. Not even close. I'm going out of a bitty hole. Then I get to thinking. It's like, well, no wonder I get more flavor off the, uh, the smock tanks. They got a bigger hole in them. Well, no, they don't. Well, let me see. It's got a bigger hole to put the drip tip in. The hole that goes down in it is a 510. They're the same size. It's just the receptacle. It's a little bit bigger for the drip tip. For whatever reason, Smock wants to be different. Yeah, I had a lot of juice in there. But that's the other thing. You can see the juice. I'm going to get out of here in a minute. Look at that. That's just juice. In here, you can see there's juice all over on the, the white part. Okay. I don't know why that won't focus. On this one, there's no juice. And you saw me using it and sipping it back and forth. There's no juice there. It's dry. And that's because nothing comes up this way. Love that little half turn. So if you're into flavor, definitely recommend it. Don't have to crank it up to burn through your juice. The flavor's there at 40 watts. It'll show. There it is. Um, I did earlier. I actually went as high as 45. I did not even make it to 50. Let's go to 50. 
Oh, that's 49. Not paying attention to what I'm doing. So how about 50? Not that you can see that. Good grief, this pain in my butt. It's 50 watts. Other than being hot, I mean, it can burn. I know, I'm a wuss. Go ahead and say it. The flavor's not any better. It's just hot. Kicked it back down to 40. Fabulous. Anyway, you can see there that I, I got mine off Element Vape. And where did I get my coils? I believe it was here. Oh, I suppose I should turn that so you can see it, huh? Anyway. Oh, it actually went up. I was going to say I got them for $9.99. But they're now $11.99. They're out of the forums. I don't know if I'd want those. The 16 and the .2 that they say they have, I haven't been able to find anywhere. In fact, these are the only coils I can find. And they do say 40 to 50. So that is 40 to 50. Okay. There we go. So they do say 40 to 50 on these. I actually want to switch this to the other camera, though. There we go. You can see them down here. <clears throat> They're the 0.25 ohms, which is the same one on this website we're looking at. They're now 12 bucks. I just want to take a quick peek at these reviews that other people are saying. Uh, best coil for flavor and power. Eh, well, it's the best, but it's pretty damn good. Um, definitely going to be my go-to tank and coil and mod for now. Kind of makes me want to dump it out and put some other juice in there. I mean, this stuff's good, but I really want to try my all day, every day. Mm. But I couldn't wait, so I put my green apple ice in here. Well, that's really all I got. I don't have much more. Buy it or don't. It's up to you. I don't. You know, it's up to you. <laughs> One thing I did want to point out about the box when I got it, it's plastic. Not paper or cardboard like I expected. I couldn't figure out how to open it. Had no idea. The lid opens. And just so you know, whoops, throwing stuff all over. Piece of plastic. Um, it does come with extra O-rings and a new gasket in the middle. It does come with the extra coil, and it does come with a spare bubble glass. That was really nice. Now, I hate saying this. I'm going to regret it. I've never broken a tank yet. But it's nice to have a spare. But when you do need it, it comes with a nice little stupid piece of plastic. It comes with a nice little instruction book. tells you everything you need to know. Probably more than you need to know, really. You need to know all that. Put it in. Juice it up, and just like any other coil, put a couple drops in the coil before you put it together, prime it. Oh yeah, a nice little plastic box that comes in. That comes in. Four, five, and then the six, so six coils right there. That'll probably last me like, well, actually I shouldn't say that. A smock coil will last me just over a week, maybe 10 days. And that's using thick and sweet juice. 
This coil is supposed to be better. I don't know if I'll get a week to 10 days out of it. I'll have to let you know. Now this is a clearer juice. It's still pretty sweet though. It's supposed to be sour apple, but it's still sweet. I don't know if I'll get that much out of it. I would expect at least a week. Now if you're cranking it up to, you know, 70, 80 watts, you're probably going to get a few days. It goes with any coil. It doesn't matter who made it. Lower wattage, lower heat, lasts longer. If you're satisfied, that's the key. you got to be satisfied. Anything to keep you from going back to a cigarette. And if you never smoked, I don't know why you're vaping. That's all I got. Have fun.